Okay, this is a short video. Just going to cover a small spreadsheet that helps me calculate uh, the radius of curvature of a track. Sometimes you just don't know very well what the radius ended up. The, the track can be pretty flexible and you can bend it around and you want to know what the radius is so you know what you can calculate the centripetal acceleration so you know the forces on it, either up or down or both. And so this is an easy way. It's also a good introduction to how a spreadsheet works. You can replicate this spreadsheet in Excel or Google Documents or Apache OpenOffice or any spreadsheet. So there's a there's an equation that uh, if you know the if you have an arc like this and you know a length across here and you know the distance between the arc and that straight line, then you can calculate the radius. Um, for instance, if you had a uh, of a four foot level or some some known distance a one meter distance there you measured across there and then you accurately measured between the the lowest point and the straight stick across the arc it doesn't have to be to the ends of the pipe either you can just whatever straight section you have whatever w is then you measure the difference between the two you use this little formula and you can find out the radius just keep your units. If you're working in inches, keep them that way. If you're working in meters, keep them that way. So for so over here, what we've got is an input cell. The width, I picked 48 inches. The height, I picked 3 inches. And then this little formula here, which is, this is what a formula looks like in a cell. It uses uh, a cell B3, divides it by 2. So the height divided by 2. And it, then it adds a b2 which is the width squared divided by 8 divided by h which is b3 so i know that uh, my radius is 97 and a half inches if i had a 48 inch long straight edge and this was three inches away from it in the middle of the arc uh in meters that's two and a half meters 97.5 inches so this is, a, this is if you want to replicate this in a spreadsheet you can do that uh, and go out and, and determine what the uh, radius is of any arc that you know a length and a height for. So that's it.